welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be about one of my favorite animes that I grew up with, um, Sailor Moon. And um, so I found out that you can buy um, Sailor Scouts and some of the characters from uh, Sailor Moon as pops. So let's get into it. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is Sailor Mercury. Uh, I actually had a Barbie doll of her as a child and um, I really like this pop actually. Um, I love the orb in her hand there. It's really really cool. Um, so just a little bit about her. She's um, she's one of the sm uh, smarter Sailor Scouts. Like she's kind of a bookworm and like she is very good at like logical thinking and um, she just she's just very uh, has a very high Q. Um, and uh, her power is ice and water. And uh, her color is, her sailor outfit is actually blue. And I think she, she was the first member to join um, the Sailor Scouts. So I'm really happy that I got her part of my collection. It's bringing back memories. <laughs> okay, so the next one that I got is none other than Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> And I really like this pop too. I love the fact that he's got his rose in his hand. is one of his uh, weapons. And obviously his mask. Um, I didn't know he was part of the pop like group to get him. So I was really happy. A few things about Tuxedo Mask. Um, he holds a powerful item. A crystal. A sailor crystal. Um, he is the guardian of the planet Earth. Um, some of his powers are psychic, and um, he can read the past, present, and future um, through touch. And um, he can heal others through psychokinesis. So, very happy to have him part of my collection. He, um, he also is, uh, has a romantic uh, interest in uh, Sailor Moon. Uh, I'm, I'm laughing because um, by day he's a different person. He's not tuxedo mask, uh, and he calls her like meatball head. He constantly like teases her, and she like she she she's she doesn't like him very much. <laughs> but by night she's like in, like infatuated with him and like totally has a crush. Um, but she doesn't know that he's tuxedo mask, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, overall cool pop. Okay, so um, next I have um, Sailor Uranus, and uh, she's a pretty cool pop. Um, she's a sailor soldier, not a sailor scout. Um, she comes later in um, the seasons, uh, or the series, sorry. And uh, yeah, she's a really cool pop. I love her sword. Her sword is a, um, a space sword, which fires um, damaging energy. And also physical strikes can be harmful. So, uh, yeah, she's a really cool one. I do like her a lot. And um, she's really good at air manipulation and precognition and good in hand-in-hand -in -hand combat. And she has superhuman strength, speed, and agility. So um, she's got a lot of cool, cool qualities. <laughs> so there we are, Sailor Uranus. And then next, okay, so my next one to show off is my favorite, um, Sailor Saturn, and she is really, really awesome pop. I love her scepter in the back. Um, she's not um, in the series for a very long period of time. She makes a short um, appearance, and... Um, but it's a very intense appearance, and she means a lot to the storyline. Um, she's the tenth one to be discovered. Um, she possesses powers of silence, ruin, nothingness, destruction, death, and rebirth. Um, it makes her very powerful because she can wipe out a planet, and uh, she, she can be a threat. Um, she can even um, end an entire galaxy or reset evolution. So she kind of gets rid of the old and brings in the new. Um, um, her powers are force fields, minor healing abilities, 
um, reincarnation powers because she does come back. Uh, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but she does come back. Um, because, yeah, she's death and destruction, so that could end her life as well. It's not just what's around her. It's her as well. Um, premonitions. Um, and, yeah, she's a sailor soldier. Um, anyway, really love this pop. Um, just love her character mostly, though. Uh, and I was really happy in, to find her. I didn't think I would be able to find her because she's, she's somewhat rare. Uh, anyway, really cool. Okay, guys, so next we have um, Sailor Pluto. And uh, again, I really love her scepter as well. It's really, really neat. Um, I don't know tons about her. I do remember uh, she can stop space and time for a period of time. Um, and she has the ability to close off um, passages to other worlds. Um, so she's kind of like a gatekeeper. But other than that, there's not much that I do remember totally about her. But she definitely is a sick pop. And she is a sailor soldier as well. So there we go, Sailor Pluto. Alright, so for the main girl of the show, um, you guessed it, <laughs> Sailor Moon. And with Sailor Moon we have Luna. There she is, her black cat that helps her along the way in her adventures. And you can tell why Tuxedo Mask would call her Meatball Head. You can actually <laughs> see her buns on her head. Okay, so anyways, her powers, uh, she generates uh, damaging energy, uses powers of silver, silver crystal. She has her scepter. Um... She has some healing powers, teleportation, a little bit of teleportation. Um, Moon Princess, Protector of Earth is uh, her thing. So, um, yeah, everybody really probably knows her pretty well, if you know Sailor Moon. Um, she starts off kind of like a typical teenager, but she really does grow into herself and her powers with the help of Luna. Luna actually is an alien um, and is a mentor of Sailor Moon to, and to help guide her and the other Sailor Scouts. Um, so yeah, she is really cool. I do, I do like her a lot too, but I figured I'd leave her to the last because uh, she is the main character of the show. Uh, anyway, so that's all that I have for the collection that I've got so far. Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to talk about um, a few of the Sailor Scouts I haven't mentioned, and it's because I still haven't found them, or they're extremely expensive. Um, so, first one is Venus. I'm going to put a picture here. Um, and what I've seen from that pop is it's Venus with Artemis, and uh, she has a creative flair in the arts, music, and singing. Um, she likes the spotlight. Um, she does kind of look like Sailor Moon. A lot of people sometimes, you know, mix them up. Um, her power is love and beauty, since she is from Venus. Um, but her element is apparently metal. So I thought that was kind of interesting. She's the fifth one to join. And yeah, Artemis is her cat. And helps her transform with her magic pen. So yeah, Artemis is the one that helps her figure out that she has her power and becomes the fifth member. Um, so yeah, I would really like this one because it comes with Artemis and that would be really awesome to have a white cat and a black cat. Um, and they're, they're actually an item later on in the show, Artemis and Luna. So hopefully in the future I'll get that one for sure. Alright, so the next one I don't have is Sailor Mars. And my god, this one is impossible to get. Like, there have been people offering it, but it started back when I was looking for it for like 50 bucks, and I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get it. And now I'm kind of regretting I didn't get it at 50 bucks, because I just researched it recently, and <laughs> it's going for 194 I think. 194 and 195 dollars. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't do that. Like, not, not right now, anyway. So, uh, yeah, so she's a hot commodity out of all the Sailor Scouts. She's one of them that is very hard to find and very expensive. 
Um, so anyways, I'm going to put a picture here and, um, she is disciplined and a very goal oriented and, uh, her power is fire and passion. Um, she doesn't have much of a sense of humor and she really butts heads with Sailor Moon a lot. Like, yes, they are friends, but their, um, personalities are very, very, very different. Like Mars is very, um... You know, like I said, she's very disciplined and serious. And Sailor Moon can sometimes act childish and bratty, and that really gets on her nerves. And then Sailor Moon feels hurt. So they do cra clash um, a lot, but they are friends. Um, anyways, her power is um, pyrokinesis uh, and psychic clairvoyance. So I would like her in the future if I can find her and if I can afford it. Like 200 bucks is like a lot. Like she just like she really went up from the last time I looked for her. But um we'll see in the future. Okay, so the next one I don't have as well is Sailor Jupiter. Um and a picture right here. Um she's a really cool um Sailor Scout as well. Um, some of her powers are electricity, um, she embodies a lot of courage, and um, strangely enough, plants. Um, she's very physically strong, and she is by far the tallest Sailor Scout, which is 5'6", which is normal for over here, but over in Japan, it's, uh, she, it's, uh, she, she's very tall, higher than the rest of the Sailor Scouts. Um, uh, she's extremely independent and a warrior at heart. Um, her power is electrokinesis, uh, plant manipulation, and superhuman strength. So I thought she was really cool. She seems intimidating just because of her height and her strength and just strength of character. Everything about her is very powerful. But she's like the nicest person at heart. At least that's what I get from when I watched um, the episodes. So I would like her in the future. Um, I haven't seen her yet, but I don't think she's as expensive as Mars or some of the other ones that I mentioned. So yeah. I'd like to um, have part of my collection um, is Sailor Neptune. And I'll put a picture here. And um, she's a sailor soldier as well. And she has powers of the sea. Um, she also has powers by her magic mirror. Um, I haven't seen her in any of the stores, so what you get from the picture is all I got. Like, I would like to see them in person, but again, I haven't been able to see them. Uh, her, okay, this is kind of a weird fact. Her and Uranus, um, are an item. Yes, they are together. Um, they never officially state that. But, um, it's very, very obvious in the, um, series when you're watching them together. You're like, yeah, they're together. Um, so yeah. And they're such a cute couple, actually. And, uh, anyway, she would be really cool to have part of, to finish my collection, um, of the Sailor Scouts and Sailor Soldiers. And the last one that I just realized that just came, didn't just come out, but came to my attention anyway, is um, one of the biggest villains in the show, which is Queen Boreal. I think I'm saying that right. Um, and I'll put a picture of her here. Again, I don't know. Haven't seen it. Haven't heard of it for a while. Um, so I didn't even know it existed or she existed in the collection. So, so that would be really cool to have a villain part of my collection. There's like lots of villains in the show, but she, she stands out, the queen does. So anyways, um, that's all I got for all the pops for my Sailor Moon collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know if you guys are into Sailor Moon. Did you guys grow up with it? Do you even know anything about it? Uh, and if you do know anything about it, which one is your fa favorite Sailor Scout? or villain like the queen or tuxedo mask let me know okay guys hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll see you next time bye guys